So, the constellations don't change as they move across the sky, do they? I mean, if Orion still looks like Orion, even if it's no longer near the tree... It still looks like Orion when it's above the tree. Yeah, so by and large, it looks like this crystal sphere, if you like. All the stars are just fixed in it. They just so they, so they hold rotate the around, shape, yeah. Which, of course, is actually... They're, they're not moving, it's us that's moving in the middle, but they hold the relative shape. But actually, it's not quite true of everything. So there are some things that don't move like this? Yeah, so here's a part of the night sky, so you can actually see Orion down yep. here. Um, and here's what it looks like a bit later. Okay. And a bit later still. So there is a... And let's go back again. You've played it again. Yeah, hold on. So what's happening here, most, a... most of the stars... So what I've done is I've lined up all the stars so they stay in the same place. That's right, but there's a few that didn't. That's right, there are a few things that seem... See, so it's complicated because, of course, they're all wheeling across the sky. But let's... There's uh, a scene that they're almost moving faster than the other stars. Is that what's happening? Faster or slower or differently. Okay. So relative to the other stars, they are moving. Okay. So, it, so if we take this fixed sphere of stars, they are moving differently to that fixed sphere of stars. Yes. And there were five of these things known in prehistoric times, and they were called wanderers, which in Greek was planetos, hence planets. planets. Because... They were rotating around the sky, but not quite the same way as everything else. Everything else seemed fixed, so the different stars and Orion always stay in the same relative position. But these things don't. They seem to be... Maybe they're on railway tracks inside the great celestial sphere, and they're moving around inside it. And so we have the five Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, because Uranus and, and Neptune, Neptune are weren't visible in those visible, times. That's right, and we're yeah. on Earth. Uranus actually is just about visible to the naked eye in good conditions, but they haven't been spotted in prehistoric right. times. So let's actually show a movie of this. So um, here we can see how they move across with time. And you see them coming in, yep. and they seem to all move in the same direction, but every now and then they reverse a bit. Yeah, so, so they're moving, but they kind of go back, but then they continue again. So on average, they're all moving in the same direction across the sky, but every now and then they seem to turn yeah. around. Um, and also, they seem to be moving on roughly the same track. That's right. So they're not coming down the bottom or down That's right. This. This, this sphere is not a sphere, almost. That's right. And we can plot the entire sphere. Now, we can never see the whole sky from any one place on Earth. We can only ever see yep. half of it. But if, imagine, you were an astronaut, you could take a real 360 yep. view in all directions if the Earth wasn't too nearby. And that's what we've got here. We've wrapped it round to make a map of the entire sky, like a you know, projection of the map of the Earth. And what I've done here is I've plotted the paths of all these wanderers, these planets. And they do this kind of arky circle roller coaster ride. Which is actually a sky. perfect circle in the sky. It just ah, tilts at a bit of an angle. Yep. In the projection, it looks like it's a, a wave. So, so the, these wanderers only do one perfect loop circle around the sky. That's right. So it seems that if you're floating in deep space, you'd see there's a track around the sky. You see, not a perfect track. I mean, it's not as if they're all running along the same railway line on the inside of the crystal sphere. That's right. Um, sometimes, they're, they're, but they're pretty close. They're pretty close. Every now and then they do a loop to loop and turn backwards and go around. So we're talking about a bit of a complicated motion here. That is not explained by a fixed sphere of moving stars. Yeah, so 99% you know, of the things in the sky are just all, we call them stars, and they're all staying fixed relative to each other and just endlessly rotating around. And then other, I mean, the planets still seem to rotate, they're still That's being carried right. around, but they're going at a slightly different rate, so from night to night they're going to be in different place, they might move from constellation to constellation. Okay.